All right, peace, 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 love, light, and life, family. It's your boy Tez Lotto, Big Tez Lotto, and I just wanted to do a quick video and um, kind of do a product review or a product showcase. But I just want to highlight the actual product that I'm using, and I'm gonna try to start doing this a little bit more. Um, so, hope everybody's doing good. I am live from the green, live from the greenhouse. We in our happy place. And I want to let you guys know about the pH pen that I use. So we rock in the Apera Instruments, the pH 20. Um, Apera is a really great company for uh, instruments and measuring devices for all different type of readings of sorts. So with the Apera 20, it was about $45 or maybe cheaper than that. I probably caught it on scale or sale. Sorry um, But this is what you get And I'm gonna let you know if you're getting whether this pin or any pH pin make sure you get Whenever you do get the pin get the pH calibration solution um, a lot of times the cheaper ones will just include like a pow powder that you'll dissolve in like distilled water, but that isn't as efficient. Um, I was reading that on Cocoa for Cannabis the other day, and it was just talking about how I guess you need actual technology to know if your water that you're starting with is pure enough and if that's off a little bit, the powder that's mixed in, if it's not dissolved all the way or at the proper temperature or whatever, it could essentially you won't be able to recalibrate your pH pen after doing everything you by using that powder that you dissolve in the water. Um, I think like everybody else, I got the cheapest pH pen to start with. I had one of those black and yellow ones, um, and that got me through like my first harvest or whatnot. So I'm not ungrateful, but we did have to upgrade to the para. It comes with the pH calibration solution. It comes with a lanyard there. Um, and this is the unit. Real, really a uh, user friendly unit. Sleeve design, two buttons. Um, and it, it's pretty awesome. $45 on Amazon delivered, free delivery charge. It gets the job done, guys. And you can also, so the calibration liquid you got, you can do a two point calibration, which you. Calibrate at 4.0 pH and then a 7.0. And you can also buy another solution that I believe is at like 10.0 and you can do a three point calibration. So just to go into what the product looks like in hand, it is, uh, there we go. Uh, super slick, about as big as a large marker or a little bit bigger than a large marker. Maybe a skinny remote. Um, we turned it on. Boom. And I'm storing mine with the. This is tap water. I got some distilled water, so you can store it with distilled water, but you just don't want that probe to get dry. Oh, excuse me, guys. Yeah, you don't want that probe to get to dry out. I think with these, the probe is replaceable, so you can still use the unit after you know if it mess up if it messes up. Um, but these are produced in China. Ooh, I don't know if it can. Can we get a? Oh, oh. Let's see if we can get a. Yep, yeah, produced in China. Um, but yeah, good quality stuff, man. I love this thing. Um, it also does the. Also does the temperature as well. Um, but yeah, $45 on Amazon, guys. You cannot beat it. Comes with the pH solution. Um, so you can calibrate your pH pen. I'm recommending every 30 days. That's what I'm going to do. Um, we are over here in the 2x2. Two two. We got the 2x2 two two pop, propped open. And after everything I experienced with these White Widows and this Blueberry on this fo first photo period run with the pH... Um, I got a little bit too lackadaisical, guys, so that's how we ended up having that pH problem. I just thought the pH pen was good. I wasn't even rinsing it and stuff like that after use, so like I was kind of neglecting it. Um, but yeah, we bounced back since then. We got the little white widows that could 
they're just short and stout, man. I love these things. They look, they're looking good. They're green and lush. Uh, they're praying. So hopefully them buds just fill out as fat as can be, and we'll get we'll come off with like probably a these two plants, man. It'll probably just be a zip. Hopefully, um, we got the we got the GC back there chilling. We we've been applying the GML Grandmaster level topping. Um, topping um, technique so what you'll do is you'll pretty much pull off the top the top two fan leaves off of each top and it will allow the plant to start to bush out more and you'll get a more even canopy it's kind of how I did with the with this uh, we were trying to get it as even as possible we didn't perfectly get it there um, but yeah that's what we're doing we're removing the top two fan leaves off of the off of the tops and it'll send that energy um, instead of sending it to the highest point on the plant since these are a, a pericle meristem plants they grow from the highest point of the plant the ener energy goes there and that's how the plants when you untame them or untrain them they look like Christmas trees and you just got one main cola and then the rest is like kind of layered down uh, they're a pericle meristem plant so that that's kind of the scientific name for how they grow so like when you do that you take those two top fan leaves it kind of stresses the plant a little bit um, and it sends that energy and hormones to the other parts of the plant so you can see this GC down here you can see those other colas like that's the top main cola right there in the middle but you can see the other ones starting to come up as well so that's what we're trying to do that's the goal um we the the fimming and the topping i think i'm not even gonna have that in my in my book anymore unless we come across a real real vigorous plant and we need to get it to just slow down um uh, i think we'll we can shock it with those with those topping techniques and those fimming techniques but that's like that's like very very high stress um i think this is more on the side of in between middle and high stress training when you're just doing the GML topping technique and um, part of me guys I know people have been doing that forever but within the part of the community that I've been operating in y'all um, with that's what we've been calling it the GML topping technique when we just taking them two top fan leaves off but so the blueberry doing good she's stacking out nice nice you can see we got all those bud sites down there y'all and um yeah we we got the light lowered it down to about uh 14 inches or something uh we're only rocking it at about 75 percent and we've been feeding like three times a day on the blueberry two times for the uh white widows the gc has just been taking it easy it's an auto um so yeah it drinks as it please and right now it's at that veg weird veg i think i didn't shocked it into a flower or that's just how they rock man they just automatically go in the flower so it's it's doing its thing it's throwing pistols and probably within about two to three weeks it'll really start to take form and you'll see those bud sites expanding but hopefully it's, it stretches a lot so we can get get more room on there for some bud sites but yeah that is what it is y'all but i just wanted to check in and really highlight that ph pen and show y'all give y'all a little update on the plants um i try to upload daily throughout the week um and on the weekends i kind of you know i just be chilling around the crib you know doing me but during the week i'm working so i might as well upload produce content and stuff like that for you guys but i want to say thank you to everybody who's been tuning into the channel so far liking and subscribing the videos um commenting hit me up on instagram everybody it's your boy tez lotto at tez lotto on facebook and instagram so tap in with me there but um we're in week three of flower um got any questions hit me up on the comments man just show love man let me know what you smoking on, what you blowing on. Grow yours, blow yours. Y'all know what it is. The boy Tez Lotto, Big Tez Lotto, your number one grow bro on the internet. And I'm checking out. Peace.